If you're thinking about moving to Rockland, California, you're gonna wanna watch this video. Hey, I'm Rose Gonzalez with the Gonzalez Real Estate Team, and in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the things you may wanna know about Rockland before making the big move. Moving to a new area can be scary because you just never know how it's gonna be like. I know that when we started talking about moving to Rockland, we had no idea what to really expect. We all have some sort of idea of what it's like to live in Sacramento area. And for me, I just didn't know what to expect. And every time I thought about Sacramento, I thought about crazy hot summer days. It took me a long time to even consider moving to this area. So let's actually talk about that. What's the weather like in Rockland? In the summer, it can get very hot in Rockland. It does get up to 105, 108, multiple days in the summer. So talk about hot, right? To sum it up, it does get pretty hot here in Rockland during the summer, but I guess it's not fair for me to classify whether that's a con or a pro because I personally love the summer weather. If I can lay out in the sun by the pool or the beach any day of the week, that's where I'd rather be. However, if you compare it to the Bay Area, we just moved from San Ramon and the weather is pretty similar. The difference between the weather here in Rockland versus some of the cities in the Bay Area would be more like if you lived in the peninsula where it's a lot colder because of the cold breeze you get from the close proximity to the water. In the winter time, it gets cold, but not out of the ordinary. It gets about 40 to 55 degrees here in the winter. Definitely sweater and jacket weather. We do get breeze from the Sierra considering we're pretty close to it, but it doesn't get snow or extremely cold here. And not a lot of people know about Rockland yet. I have friends who've asked me, where the heck is Rockland? Even though it's a suburb of the Sacramento area, there's actually quite a lot of things to do out this way. I know when we started talking about moving to Rockland, we were thinking that there wasn't much to do here. And even when we drove out to the Whitney Ranch area, when we first looked at homes, we were wondering where all the groceries and the restaurants were. When you exit off the freeway on Whitney Ranch, as a newbie, we didn't see anything. So we were wondering where all the commercial buildings were. As we got more familiar with the area, we realized there's so much stuff to do here. There's a ton of restaurants and shops in Rockland and in the next cities over like Roosevelt and Lincoln as well. We have the normal stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, Costco, Sam's Club, Walmart, and Target. And there's a lot of restaurants around here too. There's chain restaurants like BJ's, Yard House, Skipolini's. But what I really love about here is that there's a lot of small mom and pop shops everywhere. I'm a big proponent of local shopping. There's also a few big attractions that you have to check out in Rockland. We have Quarry Adventure Park. This is an outdoor park where you can zip line, propel, free fall, and so much more. And of course, we have Top Golf. So as you can see, there's a ton of stuff to do out here. If you love working out like we do, there's a lot of gyms out in this area as well. This was a big thing for us because where we came from in the Bay Area, we had 24 hour fitnesses in just about every city. Out here in Rockland, there's a variety of gyms. There are large gyms like California Family Fitness, Lifetime Fitness in Roseville, Orange Theory, and there's a bunch of CrossFit gyms like Rockland CrossFit, CrossFit Echelon, and there's also Hue Fitness. There's also a few Brazilian Jiu Jitsu gyms here as well, like Infinite Jiu Jitsu and Aries Jiu Jitsu in Roseville. One of my favorite is Body Heat. This is a heated yoga and Pilates, but they also offer a bunch of different classes like spin and a variety of different boot camps. One of the things about living in the suburb is that people think it's so far from everything. Especially us coming from the Bay Area, we were worried that we're moving to the middle of nowhere. Well, that's not technically the case. Downtown Sac is 25 minutes away, the Bay Area is two hours away. But one thing we really like about living here is that we're just an hour and a half from Truckee, two hours from Reno and South Lake Tahoe. My husband and son go snowboarding during the winter and it's nice to be able to take a short drive to North Star for the day and come back. 
In the summer, we really enjoy hanging out at the lake in South Lake Tahoe, but even more so if we want to go for just the day to the water, we are super close to Folsom Lake, which is probably about 15 to 20 minute drive. We're also about one hour from different parts of the Truckee River. One of the best hidden places is Boca Dam. This is pretty fun. You can drive your car to the water and relax for the day. One thing that I did notice living here in Rockland is there are mosquitoes. I heard that's because there's a rice farm in Lincoln, which is the next city over. It's not too bad, but we were at my son's baseball game for the fall ball and I got three or four bug bites on my leg. I don't even know why, but mosquitoes love me. But thankfully, one of the moms had lemongrass oil in her car and gave it to me. Apparently, mosquitoes don't like lemongrass, so I know what I'll be stocking up here. The sunset here in Rock Lane is absolutely gorgeous. There's quite a few places where you can catch the sunset. We're lucky enough to get a view of it from our balcony, but if you're out and about, you can get a pretty nice sunset view even if you're just driving off the Highway 65. The sun sets right behind Thunder Valley Casino in the summer and then shifts to the other side of it in the winter. Pernu Park in Whitney Ranch has a big open grass where you can have a nice picnic while catching the sunset. The one thing that's different here than in the Bay Area is that our garbage service only provides us with one bin for garbage. So you put garbage and recycle in the same bin. They say that they filter through the garbage bags at the facility center and separate them but I don't know whether I believe that or not, but it's convenient if they do. Well, we love it here in Rockland, if you can't tell. We have great neighbors and everyone's super friendly. When we first moved here, I went grocery shopping on Mother's Day with my three-year-old son, and I kid you not, three to four people stopped to say Happy Mother's Day. I don't even remember the last time I've gone into a store and that many strangers have even said a word to me. Maybe it was because my three-year-old was wearing a football helmet, and people couldn't help but notice him, but I'd like to say that people out here are just super nice. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions about Rockland or the surrounding areas, please feel free to comment below or send me a message and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and give that subscribe button a little love and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.